How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smojo. Welcome back to another video. We are doing another community card review. In today's community card review, we're going to be reviewing the card called High Tide. High Tide is a moon spell card, which is very interesting. There's not a lot of people that actually make moon type cards they mainly make the main school's cards so this one this card is a little bit interesting it's a it's a aoe spell six pips that does 650 damage and stuns all targets for one round right off the back i can already tell you this card is low-key unbalanced the reason why i think it's unbalanced for one it is a school that you can't use power pips on so you're literally going to have to wait let's say you start the round off with three pips basically you're going to wait three more rounds to do 750 damage i mean 650 damage you know and then it stuns all targets for one round we can compare this card to uh, storm lord for example because this basically does the exact same thing storm lord hits all the targets and stuns them for one round it's basically a storm lord but for moon school instead now i feel like a few things would have to happen for this card to actually be vital for one it would have to do more damage uh considering storm lord not every school can have a storm lord you can't train storm lord storm lord is a quest spell that you learn at level 48 for storm wizard so you can't train it high tide i'm pretty sure this is going to be a trainable card that everyone can get uh, the only thing is there is no exalted amulet for the moon spell so for this to be vital you would need to have an exalted amulet but then comes to account would it be too overpowered you're basically giving every single school in the game their very own storm lord even though it doesn't do you know the exact same damage it does 40 damage less it's still pretty much a storm lord for one less pip which would low-key be very overpowered and then takes into account since it is a moon spell you don't get any damage buffs um unless universal damage is a thing i'm pretty sure you can't get a damage buff depending on the gear that you're wearing with moon spells so this would be a really weak spell for a high level wizard since you can't really increase the damage of the moon school itself so for this to be vital i would say put an exalting amulet in the game for it for moon spells and then maybe people will consider using it but i'm pretty sure no one would still use this card unless it was for utility only for the stun of every single target but then if it's only for the utility it still costs six pips uh it's just so much wrongness about this card I'm, I'm not sure that i like it now let's read what the comment says somebody said since it's moon school it should also polymorph the enemy into something now that would be interesting that'd be very very interesting you would uh you would hit the target for 650 damage you would stun all of the targets and then on top of that you would polymorph them into something else that would low-key be overpowered though depending on how many rounds the polymorph lasts for most more most polymorphs are bad especially at high level like if you polymorph into something you're gonna get worse damage worse cards worse resist worse crit you know it, all your stats just basically go down and you're just you know you're just a bad wizard at that point if you will so if you polymorph into something that would be overpowered I, I i believe especially in pvp and pve just all around it would be an overpowered card if you polymorph into something another person said get rid of the stun and make it four pips now that getting rid of the stun and making it four pips you would use this well like a, a round after even then you still won't be doing that much damage considering no matter what gear you wear unless they add the stat for universal damage to possibly increase moon school damage that could maybe work but even then you're not going to do that much damage as you would think just versus using a storm lord or your own school's aoe spells another comment said don't want to repeat what all the other comments are saying but you could a make the spell do more damage last more rounds of a stun that would be interesting or b make it less pips maybe three and keeping it as it is you could also change its school but i think it could be cool to have a decent moon spell now that changing the amount of rounds that somebody is stunned for could be vital considering this would basically be 12 power pips like let's just think of it as 12 power pips or six regular pips or or whatever you know or yeah um changing the amount of rounds that it stuns could possibly be overpowered though at most probably two rounds never three three rounds of stun would be in, in crazy you know it would, be, it would be insane to stun somebody for three rounds one round i think is a little bit too low you're not really benefiting from it especially when it's six pips or power pips 
um so two round stun with a little bit less damage i think would be good as a utility card or you could also maybe just make it three pips and keep it as is that might work as well either way i think the concept behind the spell is good but i think the spell would definitely need some more work around it to actually fit into the game but yeah hopefully you and guys enjoy this round of a card concept if you have a card that you want me to review please leave the link down in the description of where i can find a card etc etc um if you enjoy make sure you leave that like comment down below on what video you think i should do next and if you're new here to the channel and you like the content that i post you know there's a sub button that you could click for me you feel me you never miss another awesome and amazing video but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching my name is smudge and i'm out peace out brother